Hi everyone, how are you? I am Dr. Shabir Khan with Watch and Know IKEA Health Channel. Now, our topic is MRSA fibrous. MRSA fibrous is a very sufficient topic in high subjects. MRSA fibrous is a condition in which a person cannot see out of one or both eyes due to lack of blood flow to the eyes. The condition is symptom of an uh, underlying problem such as a blood clot or insufficient blood flow to the blood vessels that supply the eye. Other names for hemorrhagic fugus include transient monocular blindness, transient monocular visual loss or temporary visual loss. What are the symptoms of Amylosis. Now I will tell you the symptoms of amylosis fugus. When a person experiences amylosis fugus, their vision may suddenly appear to cloud over. This is typically a temporary effect that can last anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes. Some people have described the occurrence of amylosis fugus as feeling as if someone has Hold the shade over the eye. In many instances, hemorrhagic fugus is a symptom of a transient ischemic attack (TIA). A uh, TIA is a, a precursor to a stroke. TIA is cause stroke-like symptom that are temporary. In addition to temporary blindness. Other symptoms associated with TIAs include difficulty speaking, a facial droop on one side of the face, and certain weakness on one side of the body. Now, I will tell you the what are the causes of MRSA fugus. When blood flow is blocked to the central retinal artery, that supplies blood to the eyes. Amylosis fibrous occurs. A common cause of amylosis fibrous is blockage of blood flow to the eye from a piece of plaque or a blood clot. The most common cause of condition is plaque or a blood clot in the same carotid artery where a person experiences the blindness. The risk factors of these accents include having a history of heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, or a history of alcohol or cocaine abuse. Other underlying, other underlying causes of condition include brain tumor, head injury, history of multiple sclerosis, history of systemic lupus erythematosus, migraine, headaches, optic neurotis, and inflammation of the optic nerve, and polyarteritis nodosa are diseases that affect the blood vessels, diseases that affect the nervous system and our blood flow. To the head can all typically cause hemorrhagic fibers to occur. In addition to the causes, a person can experience hemorrhagic fibers due to a vessel where the blood vessels in the eyes suddenly tighten, restricting blood flow, strenuous exercise, long distance running, and sexual intercourse can all cause. Vesospasm. Now, I will tell you the treatments of hemorrhagic fugus. What are the treatments of hemorrhagic fugus? Treatment for hemorrhagic fugus involves identifying and treating the underlying medical condition. If the condition is related to high cholesterol level or blood clots. This indicates a person is a high risk for a stroke 
آسٹروک اخذ وین آف فلڈ کلاٹ جائجٹ اینٹ بلڈ ویسل ان دا برین اسٹاپنگ بلڈ فلو ٹو دا برین ایز اے ریزلٹ سم آف دا موسٹ امیجیٹ ٹریٹمنٹس آر ریلیٹڈ ٹو ریڈیوسنگ دا لائکلی ہوڈ فار اسٹروک ایگزامپلس آر دیز ٹیکنگ بلڈ تھینر سچ ایز اسپرین اور ویفرین انڈر گوئنگ آف سرجیکل پروسیجر نون ایز اے کیروٹین ایٹرا ٹیکٹومی وی آر ڈاکٹر ول کلین آؤٹ دا بلیک پوٹینشلی بلاکنگ دا کیروٹین آرٹریز اینڈ نیٹ ٹیکنگ میڈیکیشن ٹو لوور بلڈ پریشرز In addition to these medical treatments, a doctor will recommend at-home treatments. For example, number one, the freeing from eating high-fat food such as fried, processed or fast food. Number two, stopping smoking. Number three, exercising at least 30 minutes a day for more days of the week. Number four, managing chronic condition such as diabetes, high blood pressure or high cholesterol, healthy habits and taking steps to maintain an ideal weight can help a person reduce their risk for amylosis fugues. To avoid complications of amylosis fugues, always consult with your I doctor to get good and accurate treatment. I hope you will get benefit from this video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my this channel. See you and take care.